Come on, you know the spiel. You're the one with the hair. Okay, yeah. Whoever has hair does the videos. Well, yeah, I think people are tired of seeing you anyway, Oz. <laughs> Your wife dancing, though, they like that. We'll come back for that later. Like my wife. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're going right. to show us what you got here? So, this is the North American debut of the Viva Nuda uh, horn speaker system. It's a horn speaker system. The reason we call it that is not just the horns, but they come with the uh, low frequency driving amplifiers which are hybrid design uh, what we are showing here is obviously uh, the United Home Audio uh, tape deck but we also have Wolf uh, audio server and it's run and on the digital side moving to the Viva Numerico DAC from there we're going to the uh, Viva uh, integrated amp this is the Solista integrated amp which uses 845 tubes and from here obviously you come out to the speakers on the high frequency and then uh outputting to low the frequencies one, okay so low it's basically active type or is the crossover in the the crossovers are inside the speaker okay yes. uh and there's a super tweeter here there is a super tweeter so we have a super tweeter and then you can time align it i guess is exactly. that what this is so, for so you can time align it plus uh the horn itself this part can also be moved, and then the bottom section can also the time align. Okay. be moved. So it can all be time aligned and angled to the seating position for your room. Um, weight, how much is this weight, you know? Amadeo, weight per weight. speaker. Weight? Yeah. Uh, well, that's an interesting question. <laughs> We're not sure. It's very heavy. You could just look at your shipping bill. Probably it's going to be right, ridiculous. I mean, it, comes, it comes in three comes crates in or something. Uh, four, four crates. crates? Okay. Yes. So, you do need a lot of real estate for this, but uh, yeah. No, it, it's it's really if you look at it, it's not it's not a very wide wide uh, deep speaker, and it's not extremely wide. So yeah. you really could put it in a much smaller room, and it also can support a much 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 larger room. Okay. They're very efficient. They're uh, about 102 dB efficient. So. Yeah, so the power, people are going to ask how much power are we doing using here? About 22 watts. 22 watts. Yeah, yeah I mean, this has been a brand, long-standing brand, um, and you, a lot of people are known for headphone amps. They do Correct. great headphone amps. Um, so, yeah, and it's a unique styling that's very attractive. Sexy. And it's available in, you know, it can be made in virtually any automotive finish that you oh, want. Oh, is that right? You can yes. choose. Okay, So this cool. one, for, for instance, is a... Uh, Porsche yellow color that we chose for this one but yes they could be done and that that includes also the finish on the cabinetry over here or those amps so, so you can have it match you can have it match you can have it done in any color you cool. want so um, that's all available through your dealer yeah so y'all are going colorful here but you could make it match you can do whatever absolutely now we got to talk about Greg you've been featured before do you want to talk about this again people should know about this. You got a lot of awards, right? Well, so far this year, uh, from the Absolute Sound, got an Editor's Choice Award, wow. the Golden Ear Award. Okay. Then now they come out with the Reviewers Reference Award. Okay. Which is coming out in the December magazine. So okay. So we just got uh, okay to release that, and we'll see what else happens from there. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So well, this is um, now you're bringing the one with just the one. The, this is not your total restaurant. This is the one down, right? Yeah, this, this is, is one down. Yeah. This is the Ultima Five. Okay. The Ultima Five uh, can be sold as a one box unit or a two box unit with the outboard power supply. When you get the outboard power supply, we take AC from the wall and we convert it into DC. And because the real motors and the capstan motor are DC, we then figured out how to run everything else on DC. So the only thing in the box is DC. There's no power transformer whatsoever in the box to aggravate, you know, right. tape heads from EMI or anything like that. And it all occurs down here. Uh, but in addition, upon receiving the power from the wall, there's a big uh, EMI RF filter mm. right there. So that depending upon how you plug it in, whether you're running straight to the wall, you run into a power condition, whatever you're doing, you still have the option of reducing RF and EMI right from the start. 
The tape heads are proprietary to, to me. Nobody can buy the tape heads. Um, this, uh, the decks typically have uh, scrape flutter, flutter rollers. If you know anything about tape decks, that smooths the tape out before it actually hits a tape head. And when it hits a tape head, that's where the magic happens. And then from there, uh, dual mono head amps coming out of here into the preamp. Um, there's two uh, sets of toroidal power transformers in the outward power supply. One just runs the tape motors and logic circuits and all that. The other one runs the right channel and the other one runs the left channel. So you have full, you know, separation of churches and state there. Does this one have the supercapacitors too that you have from? No, they okay. don't fit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These are, those are pretty big and they have to go into the super deck, which is in a, an in extra another chassis. Room. Oh, it is. It's in another room okay. at the Capital Audio Fest, yes. Okay. And what's the price point on this? Well, this one's 38 and 65 for the outboard power supply. Okay. And that's currently the Ultima 5, which is top of the line until you get to Super Deck. And Super Deck has super pricing, but it has super performance. So that's the way that goes. Okay. And how about pricing on the rest of the stuff? Maybe you should talk to Amadeo. Amadeo. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about This is my awesome first time meeting you. Yeah, I've known yeah. your brand for a while, and I've, I've always lusted after your headphone amps, but this is the first time seeing your amps. Um, we'll go over there. Yeah, you want to go in terms of, um, feel free to share anything, but also uh, price points. I know people are going to ask when they look at this. My price point, we ask yeah. to odds. Okay. The, the, the new Nuda speakers making US debut is 165000 Okay. with two amplifiers. The bass. Ba uh, yeah. That are driving the bass drivers. These okay. are hybrid amplifiers. Most of the manufacturers are putting them inside the cabinet, but there are so many different reasons why you shouldn't do that. Right. And these are especially for bass. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And we're driving the top frequencies with the Solista integrated amplifier, which is a 22 watt Class A integrated. Amplifier. Integrated. So you got your preamp and everything. Yeah. yeah. And the rest is with Amadeo. Yeah. Please. So how long have you been in business? Well, business with Viva Audio from 1996. 96, okay, yes, I, 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 I can remember as far back, yeah. Yes, and uh, in Audi in general from some more years. <laughs> okay. So then I've been in And where's the company located? In Vicenza, Italy. Uh, Italy, okay. In Vicenza. I'm Italian, so yeah. Okay. okay. But Sicilian, so that's your. Sicilian, my yeah. father was Sicilian. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, did you start with two channel stereo or did you start with the headphones? I know you're well known in the well, headphones. The headphones uh, is from the first time was in 2014. Oh, is that right? Okay, oh, so yes. you were doing this way before that. Oh, yes. Okay. The, 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 we, we derived the, the egoistas, the headphone amplifiers from these amplifiers. They are and it's essentially the same structure, which is pure single ended. Mm -hmm. And um, for example, here in the Solista, we have uh, a single-ended uh, section mm -hmm. that uh, the four front two tubes are in the power supply. So there is one tube making the amplification. So it is, is strictly single-ended. Is that right? Okay. And uh, do you use a specific brand of tube? Do you recommend with this, or Oof, do you well, you, do you uh, encourage tube rolling or not? I mean, for the 845, now we use the Psvane. Uh, okay. Hi-Fi series, okay. which I think uh, are the best sounding. Some people make tube, tube rolling, uh, like you Elrog or something sound like that. that they cost uh, a lot. Yeah. But I don't know if I really found uh, substantial better than the Spain. Okay. Sometimes it's a question also taste. Yes. They have some flavor. But, but you have that to ability. Me they are most balanced. Uh, the most modern balanced one, the less color. So this is. Uh, so the, the overall the, the use transformers with the uh, mixed uh, technology of the cores okay and uh, very expensive and uh, but we, we, we got uh, very high performance so actually we use some kind of audio cores for the main transformers also okay uh, even different than the, the audio ones so the, the, the product is a blend of uh, some pushed uh, 
Yeah, it's a beautiful chassis looking, but also design wise you've had and the pedigree that you've had in the industry is quite impressive. This is my first time hearing your speakers. A um, little bit about the design philosophy, I guess you're-, well, you're uh, It's a uh, speaker based on horns. Mm -hmm. Even um, for the bass, we, we, we wanted to use a, a separate woofer. Of course, if you want horn for the bass, it must be very big. Huge, so, yeah. Right. We decided to make a servo woofer, servo amplifier with our proprietary amplifiers, which are hybrid and solid state and the tubes. And um, the, there is a, uh, besides the, the, the woofer, there is a three ways speaker with horns, you know, so a mid bass, mid range, and, and Twitter actually is a more of super Twitter. Uh, Twitter. And so does it really take over after 20,000 or even before uh, that? No, it is um, around uh, 16,000. Okay. It takes over. Pretty much, so yeah. It's pretty much a super tweeter. Yeah. And it goes pretty high, way over the okay. 20 kilohertz. So we do our way of time alignment. Okay. Which uh, is with some techniques that we develop and um, which is a big deal, in my opinion, because it creates a uh, um, very coherent... Uh, system you know that you don't expect from a horn right so the, uh, yeah this is a difficult environment and this is the even the first yeah. first <laughs> few hours it's not even official show starting uh but yeah it does fit in this room um we don't know the exact weight but i can imagine this is pretty heavy well it's not uh, crazy heavy um it is around uh, 80 kilos or something like that. Oz can still stand up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he got his workout, so, though, yeah. <laughs> interesting is that they can work in very small rooms. Okay. We have clients that they put uh, this, or oh, even no, the bigger... The, the bigger they, were, they were in a tiny hotel room. Is that right? Is so that right? Okay. Tiny. Very tiny. And I can send you the picture after. Okay. They were, it's a tiny room. Well, these are probably pretty directional, aren't they? Um, they, they are okay the directional is about uh, uh, making uh, less sensitive from uh, from the acoustic of the room right okay right so so they but they have a, a fair dispersion they do okay yes so it's not uh, because they are not so very very directional pushed horns okay okay they are they have a gentle expansion so um they are less directional. So really, the, most of the seats here should get a very... Oh, yes. I got the sweet spot, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can actually um, align the... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. And also the tweeter front, front and back. Front and back, yeah. And the, the cabinet back. That's what I was noticing, yeah. This is, this is the cabinet that holds the whole structure together. Right. And, but you can actually tilt. The no, base. that's perfect. Yeah, I mean... Speakers that don't give you that ability, you know, yeah. somewhat can compromise you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, this is great modular almost in a way. Almost. Yeah. But yeah, that's really cool, impressive. And, uh, and yeah. And we're using the uh, Viva DAC as well. Yep, yep, that's and, beautiful. And uh, one thing that I would like to uh, show your viewers, mm -hmm. how much they basically uh, pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. If you can zoom in to the screws here, Mm -hmm. You can see that they're all a logo of this Viva. Oh, let me put on a little flash here. So we can... Oh, yeah. And not only that, but take a look at all the Vivas up standing up. Yeah, so That's perfect. precision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's small things like that communicate, you know, attention to detail and, yeah, pride of ownership. The yes. Of the designer. No, I mean, so many companies charge a lot of money and they don't pay attention to the fit and finish yeah. that's in your home. These part of the reason people buy these, whether it's 10% or 90%, is going to be on aesthetic exactly. elements. And, and like, so, like yeah. Dave was saying this was a Porsche yellow, but we can get it in any It's beautiful. I, I've always admired this Porsche yellow with your amps. In yeah. the house of stereo uh, room, you will also see the uh, Ferrari Corsa Rossa. Okay. Uh, Egoista 845 headphone amplifier. So okay. You can listen to the headphone that's what I like. There. Now, do you make a headphone amplifier for uh, electrostatics? Yeah. Oh, yes. you do? Okay. Because I have the Stax X9000. It's the Egoista STX. Okay. All right. It's, I got to go it's listen. It's based on the 300 beat tubes, and I'll show you... I want to hear the Stax with your amps. That would be awesome. I'll show you a picture of it afterwards. 
but we had one that we showcased in CanJam California uh, about a month ago. Um, oh, right, that's right. It was CanJam. I was in Vegas at the time. Okay. And um, that is just a beautiful piece, if I can, yeah. So we got the uh, oh, yeah. SDX in Lamborghini Montes mm. Yes, color. that's cool. Really cool. Yeah. This is the STX for the. It probably even glow, even when the lights are off, you can probably oh, see yeah. it. Yeah, that's oh, cool. Yeah. You can get it in any color. It that's all beautiful. Needs, yeah. It all needs to be. Yeah, I like things that are not traditional, yeah. as you can tell. So yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I like your style, the the whole vibe, and really, it's been timeless. You've kept kind of the same style for your entire. Mm -hmm. That's why you know, again, being in business that long, keeping the same style, you haven't had to reinvent face plates like so many companies do. Yeah. So yeah, kudos also, to you. So they have three speakers. This is the Nuda, which is the freestanding speaker. Okay. Then there's the Credenza which basically is built to measure so if you have like a wall to cover you oh. can basically build the whole system including the cabinets where basically all the amplifiers go okay which is called the credenza and at the top of the line you have the master horn system which is crazy kind of like close to a million <laughs> to the uh, whole not system really but it's about six hundred thousand okay definitely uh need to have a significant budget well this is cool because i've always admired companies that can do it all there's so few that can do yeah. everything speakers yeah. dac amp yeah. you know and so you can stay within the ecosystem everything will match and including your headphone amp exactly <laughs> very few have that so yeah i've got to add this to my list a while back i did my list of companies that do it all and i totally did not even know you guys did it all so you'll definitely be on the next list that come out with that also you want to talk real quickly maybe we can even do it with this on the cables i know cables greg's a big fan Alfredo, of your cable metamorphosis uh signature as you can see we can we're using the um speaker cables then obviously the gravity three power cords at the back okay with the syn audio uh, oh syn audio power yeah mm -hmm. power distributes at the back um albedo is a um polish manufacturer that makes monocrystal silver okay uh it's very hard because you basically they, they the unique thing about albedo they make everything in-house unlike most of the companies yeah. out there it, yeah. they smelt their own silver really they extrude their own cables even the spade connectors they make it out of pure monocrystal silver interesting so uh what we are basically saying how about i have an anecdote that i can basically share with one of with your viewers uh, a dealer of mine had an amplifier and he was not believer in cables mm -hmm. and um, he listened to the amplifier he really liked it he signed it on and then we sent him the brand new unit because we sent him a demo unit for him to test out then he calls me up two months and also i sent him some albedo cables when we were basically signing one for you for him to try he called me up two months later and he said oz this amplifier is different he said it's completely different my focal rep is here one my other reps from other companies are here and they heard the first version and this is the second version there's something wrong with this amplifier there's something different with this amplifier because it sounds much better than the previous one you sent me i said no it's exactly the same thing and he goes why is it different there's mm. something different i said dude you're listening to with the albedo cables really you were listening to with your cables first now you're listening to it with albedo cables and he was like oh my god it dawned on him okay so yeah it was kind of a quasi blind test for yeah. him well yeah i know greg was speaking very highly of yeah. them so uh yeah he's got it in his own system in his own system yeah. yeah and i know he was using other cables he was very happy with before but yeah, yeah. so it, just, it wasn't like he was just using junk no, so yeah no, 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 no. so that's good um all right and then we're using the wolf audio um server uh, server yeah um the esoteric is just transport so we're using the viva DAC. DAC, yeah and obviously we Greg talked about the um, yeah um the deck itself so yeah this is a great room always regardless at any show always go into high-end by our room not only for innovative great brands that you rarely see um but also for great music <laughs> and all night. So uh, I wanted, to, this is actually my first stop <laughs> by accident. I just opened the door uh, Greg opened the door when I was Always passing by, but yeah, great seeing you guys. Thanks for walking us through this. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, come see them.